Peach. At all. Badass pieces of pizza today. I would say it's store bought or offered. Skip some time. Skip some time. Skip some time. Ah, ah, so. As always, check out our partner. Carol's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come Fucking closer. Your wife.
guy. <laughs> ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boots. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward to newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbro have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. You can become a father and see how you feel. No, I'm good. First step to becoming how much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then. Farewell. Soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance is past. Look. Nice and swifter wings than we. King Hell's Banner. Seagull, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. You have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. Uh, yeah. Uh, you leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. Ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hooves. Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way. An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, waits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart, and we mean to join their army. They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land.
lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sirka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Holy Thanks, shit. Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Apparently, they found Eivor's body. I'm going to assume that's it. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Mm. to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. quality stuff here. Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. Do it on my leg. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead.
Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, come in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we are coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. Top a monastery, a, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Look there! What are they 
do it? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dark. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure then? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Country, stop the boats. Pull up over there. Way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dan. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Are you feeling all right? This area is off limits. Something's going on. This chain is huge, and poorly anchored, it appears. 
I might be able to shoot it. Sigurd, give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. We should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, and all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Will the sons of Ragnar make their camp? At last! We find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Not Norsemen, they have some new racket and so on. We should see them quickly, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! 
On me. of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakraut, and draw your weapon. Oh! You're finished. Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for, Dad. <laughs> Surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Loot! <laughs> I think this is clear. What do you say, darling? Agreed. All clear. Those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Those men had these nuts in their mouth. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. 
But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. Karate in the backyard? <laughs> you wanna do karate in the garage? Yo! <laughs> I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found so something I would like you to see. What does that make Eivor? Eivor? Sigurd? I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps Murka! I discovered here, I believe the sons Fuck of Ragnar have pushed Ragnar. further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Oh. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. 
We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Not to mention, you know, Nikki Six is three states over chucking heroin through a fucking garden hose. <laughs> A few runestone messages. Brings it all back together. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Uh, ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did.
At last! We must row in these waters. We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well guarded. Oh, the oh, oh, priests and prayers, I'd okay. wager!
Turn home and unload it, sir. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. So, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Stag, I have no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Nah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest! so soon and we good news i hope i think we have all we need Wonderful labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. <laughs> May I see your stores? That one's pretty good. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. There, better than before.
I can get you that one easy. Done for now. I'm off. Be well, friend. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, boy. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the Longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. It's what I always wanted, my own room. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. notice count on it my friend the path ahead is bright with glory at its end farewell Eivor but why now Doc, please this must of course what was that about is Basim leaving us already Sigurd means to leave as well is that true we know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north it would do us well to pay them a visit to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd. 
for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dak. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. to see me as Sigurd has so ordered it falls to us to expand our presence in England he wants to forge alliances I am clad with every Norse Dane and Saxon here right we are the outsiders here making friends will help where do we start my scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings and I'm beginning to get my bearings in his fra as I learn more I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there of course once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Tell me more about Leather Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. 
A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grantebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Good day, Eivor.
Ranvi mentioned this place. The lab. Asked about this lab, my friend. There. A friend, an ally. I'm looking for the summer army. You can't miss it.
guards here are vigilant. Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. That is terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, were killed or captured. Aryasko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet.
can't raise the sail yet. We can use the sail here, Abel. More sail! sail. Looks like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby. Old course, what else lies within the fog? What's wrong with you? <laughs>
Monsieur yells Kona nearby. Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. This was a fine longship, fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma. <laughs> You're still in fighting shape. <coughs> Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah? You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend.
You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no debt to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grandbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bilna, Galin, Leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> Where's this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging nails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home.
I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we'll find them. Guide Soma's gilded warriors home. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them, too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we'll find them. Danes held captive.
long. I recognize the heart. So come.
prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code of honor, games. more than most. And builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grand Prix alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and canny and hard to pin down. <laughs> like a Picks fish breaking free of a net. Man, this makes a really good weapon. <laughs> it does, though. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. This longboat is us, I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. That's right! Tire yourself out! Weak little kittens. Can't even open one barricaded door! You'll rot in hell when we're done with you! You'll suck my toes when I'm standing on your head! That's Birna, for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Someone sweeping the heart outside? We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Fear enough. I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I found the others. Thank you so much. And you as well, Sambi. We'll head to the camp now. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time you get back. Vienna is like a grapevine, apparently and hard to predict, while Lee is like a would-be, sturdy, and straightforward.
Go, Zulin. Terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, I'll be free to dwell with the boys. I'll take you there myself. Abel, join us when you're ready.